This is my space. This is my craft. This is Modern Roots Kitchen. Welcome to Modern Roots Kitchen. I am your host Danny Davila and today we are making big red beer barbacoa with cachete de res. So here I have uh, from a local meat market, Culebra Meat Market here in San Antonio. Got some delicious cachete de res which in English is just beef cheeks. The cheek, the face of the beef, the cow. Very delicious meat. This is what you should make barbacoa out of. A lot of recipes on the internet will tell you to use like a chuck roast or something like that. Don't listen to those. Watch my show and I'm going to tell you how to do it. So we got a cast iron Dutch oven preheating right here. It's getting pretty hot. We're going to put a little bit of a sear on our meat. Uh, that way, you know, it locks in all that moisture before we put it in the oven. So I'm just going to start browning it up. You want to get it hot enough to where you get a little bit of a sizzle. Might have to do this in two batches. I have three pounds of cheek meat here. And I'm just going to brown it up real nice. I just put in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to get it going. It's a, it's a pretty fatty piece. It is the cheek. So it's going to render a lot of fat. Uh, so you don't need too much olive oil just to get it going. So we're going to get this brownie. Alright guys, so we got a nice little sear on our beef cheeks. Getting some nice color, getting some nice caramelization, nice flavors. It's all going to marry deliciously in the oven. So to add to this, we're going to need some liquid because we're going to braise these beef cheeks, which literally just means that you cover it partially uh, with liquid where the top is not submerged and the bottom is submerged. So first thing we have is some homemade chicken stock. I always recommend making fresh chicken stock. It's super easy. All you gotta do is get you a whole chicken or some chicken wings. Things like chicken wings have a lot of cartilage in the bones and it helps uh, get that gelatinous flavor, that really nice stick to your fingers. You know how when you get like a, a bucket of KFC or something like that? and you finish with the chicken and you got that delicious gelatinous stuff on your fingers, it's all in here. So the trick to your chicken stock is chicken wings. That's gonna make the best caldo, it's gonna make the best everything. So I'm just gonna turn this down a bit. We're gonna add in our chicken stock. This is two cups of chicken stock. And here, we're just gonna, you know, let it reduce down a little bit. Uh, we're going to add in a few accoutrements. So we have some fresh epazote. This is a herb uh, usually used in Mexico uh, for like braises, stews, uh, beans, things like that. It's very good for your digestive system actually. And so we're going to add a little bit of this in there. It's going to add a nice flavor, a nice authentic Mexican flavor. Boom. Uh, right here we have a little marijuana. Uh, just kidding. They're bay leaves. Uh, we're going to add some crushed up bay leaves. Uh, again, authentic. It's going to add that nice, delicious, familiar Mexican flavor. Uh, Mexican Cajun, you know, these a lot of bay leaves. We're going to add a little bit of chili de arbol. This is just, you know, it's a, it's a serrano pepper that's been dried. And they're very hot. You need to be careful with these. Uh, I like it a little spicy. You don't have to use, I have eight here. You don't have to use that many. You can use two, you can leave them out. I'm gonna throw in eight chili de arbol. And we're gonna turn up our heat a little bit. Keep her moving. Um, I added in some chili ancho, which are the dried version of poblanos. They have a nice raisiny, fruity kind of flavor. Threw those in. And then the secret ingredient, the thing that's gonna make this crazy, a traditional um, red soda that you may know that you may eat with your barbacoa on Sundays. Uh, Isla Street Brewery here in San Antonio, Texas, representing Corpus Christi as well. They made a beer inspired by the soda, 
it's called rojo i went ahead and threw uh another two cups 16 ounces 16 ounce can of this burliner rojo i tasted it right here i'm tasting it for the first time and it's delicious man it has like a fruity creamy big red taste uh i get like like a grapefruit kind of vibe from it too it's like really really good definitely recommend it make sure you visit shop eastwithstreet.com and cop this man this is bomb this is gonna make our barbacoa crazy and unique nobody's ever gonna have a barbacoa taco like this promise so everything's in the pot everything's reducing only thing we have left to do is cover this throw it in a 300 degree oven for six hours and i will see you guys when it's nice and tender and delicious See, oh my goodness, it's just falling into pieces. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Take that out. This is beautiful. Nice, fatty, delicious, tender meat caramelized with all those chilies and that wonderful homemade chicken stock. This is crazy. I can't wait to make a taco. Oh oh. Somebody wants to see what's going on? You want to see what's going on? You want to see? Oh my goodness. What do you think, buddy? You want some? You want some? Oh my goodness. Okay, in a little bit. Get every last bit of this meat. Delicious homemade chicken stock. Our delicious chiles. All the bay leaves and look how easily it just shreds apart. This is gonna be insane. I can't wait to taste this. So what we're gonna do, get this out of the way. I need to make a taco. Got some tortillas. Three tortillas. We're gonna take some of our delicious barbacoa made with Isla Street's rojo beer. Look, that looks freaking crazy. Can we get a close up of that? Jeez Louise. A little cilantro, cebolla. Keep it simple. Little limon. Yeah. The acid from the lime is gonna really play off of the the fattiness of the meat. It's gonna be insane. Check this out. Um yeah man, that's all we need. That's all we need. Let's taste it. Let's taste it. You can't wait, can't wait. Okay. Still super hot. Mmm. Golly, that's good. Son of a gun. Mmm. More back, more back. Mmm. God damn. You know who needs to try this? Is the guys over at Easter Street Brewery. I think we should take it to them. Let's see what they're up to. I'm going to give them a call. We're going to find where they're at. I'm going to pack this up. And I'll see you guys over there.
Yo, what's up? So I found Joaquin from Easter Street Brewery. He's over here hanging out. Um, he's gonna try the taco, see what he thinks, see what I did with his beer. All right, so let's see, let's see what he thinks. This is the music. The big moment, let's see if he approves. What you think, Joaquin? Right. Takes barbacoa to like a whole nother level. Got like spicy big red going on. That's what's up. That's what's crazy. Up. Like it takes like all the normal things that you like barbacoa and just like mm -hmm. an elevated barbacoa taco. It's like you just mended the Sunday, like it was separate. Now it's together and had a baby. And here we are. That's what's up. That's what I was going for. Like a whole big red barbacoa experience, the whole Sunday in a taco. This is delicious, man. That's what's up. Thank really you, man. Good. Yeah. Appreciate you. Yep. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you in the next video.